Okay, your next plant is Catoni Aster Horizontalis, number 100. This is the rock spray Catoni Aster. You oftentimes see rock spray Catoni Aster planted as a rock garden plant, and it sort of uh, has this um, uh, cascading kind of a, uh, a growth habit that'll go over neath the rocks and down a wall uh, is how you commonly see it used. Catoni Asters in general are really tough plants. They're quite drought tolerant. So one of the only issues is fire blight that you see in some areas, particularly on the east coast, it can be a big problem. Easy way to tell uh, Catoniaster horizontalis is, uh, like the name may suggest, is the branches are in these uh, horizontal sprays. It's got this heronbone uh, pattern that's really quite distinct. E individual leaves are alternately arranged. They're basically orbicular with a, uh, a very abrupt acute apex. So really distinct there. They have white flowers that are typical of the rosaceae family, five petals, numerous stamens, and they have a, uh, a fruit that is um, uh, it's typical of the uh, Meloidae family, uh, this um, uh, berry-like fruit, and they are produced uh, in prolific numbers. And um, some species, we're about to go see uh, Catoniaster uh, lactea, so some of those species have actually become invasive uh, in parts of California, but uh, Catoniaster horizontalis, to my knowledge, has not escaped uh, cultivation in any great numbers. Anyway, workhorse kind of plant. Um, the, the, the habit leaves a little something to be desired, but if you've got a very tough spot, uh, Catoniaster horizontalis can uh, help you out.